Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing my memory spread and I will be post planning for the week of October 21st through the 27th. And for this week, I am planning to do something a little unconventional. So I know that Halloween isn't until the following week on the 31st, but I'm going to be using my Halloween kit on this week instead because this weekend was when I celebrated all the Halloween festivities and got dressed up in my costume and everything. So to me, this felt more Halloween than the day itself since I don't have any kids and I didn't go trick or treating or anything. Um, so yeah, I just decided to use this kit early. And the other reason is that I have a specific kit that I'm planning to use um, two weeks from this week. And it also has a lot of really dark colors like blacks and like I think dark navy and so I just didn't want two really dark colored spreads like next to each other and I know that's just me being picky but to me I just really like to vary the colors that I use um so yeah it just felt perfect to pull in this kit for this particular week um this is from the shop lemon and honey studio and I did purchase this I don't remember if it was like a mini kit or a full kit but it does come with quite a few different pages so I'm gonna go over them really quickly. She included this little sheet of date dots and then also this little sampler that has like matching colors for all these different functional items. Here are the nine full boxes and as you can see, they're all um, monochromatic themed and everything's like white, gray, and black, which I love about this kit. I really wanted to use a monochromatic kit so this was really perfect. Here we have all the functional items like um, half boxes, quarter boxes, flags, and an extra um, full box. I won't use that since I didn't go trick-or-treating and then we have the bottom washi and date covers and third boxes here and then on the last page we have a movie marquee sidebar stuff some checklists we have text icons and functional icons a weekend banner some flags and I believe that's pretty much the gist so for this week I decided I'm also going to be pulling in the silver glitter washi this is from scotch expressions and I picked it up at Target I just thought this would go really nicely with this kit and I might pull in some silver foil as well I haven't quite decided so We'll just kind of see about that. So anyways, I think this intro is getting quite long, so I wanna get started. Um, as always, I'm going to place down my bottom washi and I will be pulling in this washi instead of using this faux glitter strip over here. Before I start talking about my spread, I just wanted to really quickly say that I hope you guys all had a really wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, I believe this video is going to go up just a couple days after Thanksgiving, so if you're watching right around this time, I really hope you enjoyed the holiday with your family and your friends. I know it's pretty ironic since I'm barely just doing my Halloween spread right now, but I am definitely working on catching up as soon as I can. Um, moving to my spread, I did place down the Scotch Expressions washi like I mentioned in the intro, but at the very, very end, I do end up lifting it up and just putting down the silver glitter washi from the kit because I feel like it just didn't quite match as well as I wanted it to at the end. Um, so you'll definitely see that later on. Moving to my sidebar, I first placed down the full box and I just placed it right over the large hexagon. I then pulled in a glitter header from Mandy Dreams and all the ones that I use this week are from her shop. And then I placed down this habit tracker from the kit to track my working out. I put down a quarter box with the This Week script sticker that also came in the kit, and I used a square checklist to mark my happy moments. And then at the bottom, I placed down a quarter box with a utensil sticker that's from Lemon Paper Co. The brush lettering pen I'm using this week is from Pilot. And then at the very bottom, there was a sliver of space left, so I put down the scallop label that came in the kit just to complete the space. While I put down all my date covers, I just wanted to mention that this week was really hard for me to plan. I've never really done a complete monochromatic spread like this, and so um, it was really difficult to just stick to the neutral colorway, especially because I realized I don't own a lot of icons in grays and blacks because I tend to gravitate towards color. So it was pretty difficult finding things to match the spread, but I feel like I definitely gave it my best try. So once I'm done placing down all the date covers, I um, really quickly just used my brush lettering pen to write workout in the sidebar and then I move on to Monday. I first started by placing down a scallop label at the top and then I used this less adulting more coffee sticker that came in the kit to mark that I got some coffee on Monday morning which I always love to do and then I did have a pretty productive day on Monday so I put that on a third box and the laptop sticker I pulled in is from Hazel Sticker. 
I placed down a half box underneath that and I wanted to mark that I worked out. Um, so I pulled in this dumbbell sticker that came in the kit and used my brush lettering pen to write in workout. Even though I didn't do lettering, I feel like the brush pen still made my writing a little bit more bold and that's what I was looking for. Um, and then I decided to switch out the color of the glitter header in the sidebar and I placed that one on Monday instead. I used a half box with this cat sticker from, I think that's from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. And I used that to mark that we went to cost go that night and then at the very bottom I used this flag sticker with I think it's like a girl washing dishes from let's plan it and I just used that to mark that I did some dishes and cleaned at the end of the night Moving to Tuesday, first I decided to place down this full box at the top. I kind of debated on it for a bit, but I decided to stick it there at the end. And then I used a quarter box and layered this little flag from the kit right over it to mark that it was really, really hot on Tuesday. We do still get really high temperatures in October and even November here in Southern California. So I just wanted to note that. I had a meeting that afternoon, so I decided to use an icon from the kit to mark that. And then I went to happy hour with a few of my coworkers. Um, I Put that on a half box and the super cute drinking onigiri is from panda prints paper I initially put down this gray third box at the very bottom, and then I decided to go ahead and place down the full box that I wanted at the bottom of Wednesday. Um, I then switched out the third box to a black one instead because I didn't want those two grays right next to each other like with the full box. And um, in the box, I just put down this edit sticker from Love Shira to mark that I did some editing that night. And then on the scallop label, I put down a me time sticker. I believe that's from Sweet Fox Papery. And then I just marked that I watch Gilmore Girls with a TV icon that came in the kit. Moving to the top, before I started on Wednesday, I realized that I forgot to use a glitter header on Tuesday, and my goal was to use one every day of the week, so I go ahead and just stuck one there at the top just to pull it in on Tuesday, and then for Wednesday, I first used a quarter box at the very top with a car sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs. I absolutely love those little cars. They're so versatile, and they're tiny, so they fit pretty much anywhere. I used that to mark something I had to do in the morning, and then I had an IEP meeting, so I used a glitter flag, which came in the kit. I then used a quarter box with this bow paper clip sticker that was also from the kit to mark another meeting that I had. And then I used a glitter header with a half box and the strength training sticker from Love Shira to mark that I did a workout when I got home. I then decided to shift things a little bit and in the remaining space, I wanted to mark that I went to Joanne to pick up some fabric so I could work on my Halloween costume. Um, and because I was crafting it, I decided to use this paint sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams, but because it had a little bit of color, I decided to go over the lines with my pen to make it like black and white. And I actually really like how that turned out. I think it was really cute. So yeah, that was pretty much it for Wednesday. Moving to Thursday, I first placed down the scallop label at the top and then I layered this work script sticker that came in the kit right underneath it, or I guess it's like halfway on it. I then had a really hard time figuring out how to mark these two meetings that I had that day. Um, I wanted to mark them both using the half box and initially I thought I could draw in these little hexagons and write in the times, but I really didn't like how that turned out and I didn't really have enough space to write the times inside. And so I whited them out and then I decided to use these little flags in it. Um, um, at first I put them on top of each other, but I felt like it was really crowded. So then I put one of the flags on the other side, but um, later on I switched it up again because I felt like it looked really strange. Underneath the half box, I put down a flag from the kit to mark another IEP meeting that I had that afternoon. And then this is where I lifted up that second flag in the half box. And I kind of had this wild thought that I would doodle something in next to it, but I just couldn't do something that I liked. And plus I had like whited out a bunch. So the sticker wasn't really even anymore. And yeah, eventually I just found this really cute little paper clip sticker from my leftover stash. And I just used that instead. Continuing with the day, I used a scallop label which came in that little sampler sheet with the kit and this really annoyed Emoti from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I got home pretty late that day. And then I placed down a full box to mark that we went to date night. I just wrote that in with my brush pen and I actually didn't pull in any icons for it because the um, full box was already pretty decorative. At the bottom, I placed down a glitter header, and then I found this really cute half box with this like Maru bat sticker that's perfect for Halloween. Um, this was from Paper and Milk, and I used that box to write that I slept early that night, but I really, really did not like how my lettering came out. Um, but unfortunately, that box was so cute, and I don't have any more, so I just kind of had to deal with it, and sometimes that's just how it goes. 
Moving to Friday, I first placed down a glitter header at the top and then I pulled in this balloon sticker from the kit and I think that Hello Friday sticker was from Bookish Planning. I used that just to mark how excited I was for Friday per usual. Underneath that, I pulled in this IEP label to mark that I had an IEP meeting that afternoon and unfortunately, I can't remember what shop that is from. And then underneath that, I placed down a full box. Before continuing with Friday, I decided to place down the full box that I knew um, I wanted at the bottom of Saturday, just like I had done earlier in the spread. And then I go ahead and lay down some functional boxes so I knew how much space I had to work with. So Friday was a really fun day. Um, one of my best friends came into town and um, so I wanted to mark that I was reunited with her, which is always so much fun. The circle icon, I believe, is from my Peachy Printables and I paired that with this really excited Maru sticker from Paper and Milk to mark how excited Excited I was to see my best friend and then that night we got together with a couple other friends and first we went to grab some sushi for dinner um, I used this little rice ball sticker and I can't remember which shop that's from it might be from hazel sticker and then on the half box I marked that we went to this Harry Potter beer fest which we weren't quite sure how it was gonna turn out but it was super fun everybody dressed up in Harry Potter costumes and they had like unlimited beers which was awesome and then like trivia games and we came in second place for one of the rounds which is really exciting. Um, but anyways, it was just a super fun time. Then afterwards, we decided to get some fried chicken and waffles at this place next door. And I used this meal icon from Bubba Bear Studios to mark that. For the weekend, I first placed down the weekend banner at the top. I did have to white out some of the lines from my planner just because they would peek through. And then I used this third box with this mustache sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that my best friend and I went and grabbed some coffee in the morning. She had spent the night at our place and I was taking her to the airport that morning. Um, I used another car icon from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark that I dropped her off at the airport after our coffee date. And then um, I placed down some functional boxes and checklists to see how much space I had to mark everything I wanted. Um, there were definitely some things I had to leave out of the day simply because I didn't have enough space. And on that day, we actually drove down to San Diego because we were attending a friend's Halloween party that night. We handmade our costumes this year, which we haven't done in forever. So that was like a really fun experience to do together. I was actually dressed up as boba milk tea. So I had this little skirt with like boba pearls on it. And then my boyfriend decided to dress up as crispy popcorn chicken, which is like the snack that usually accompanies boba milk tea. And yeah, so it worked out really nicely and we had a blast at the party. Then moving on to Sunday, um, we slept over at my friend's house that night because we didn't want to drive home late. And so the first thing I do is place down a full box at the top. I use this super full munchkin sticker from Once More With Love to mark that we got breakfast burritos that morning because when in San Diego, you have to have burritos. And then I placed down the scallop label with this third box and a present sticker. I think that's from Mandy Dreams to mark that we stopped by a friend's birthday party before we headed home. Um, to mark our drive home, I pulled in another one of those car stickers from Nicole Hutch Designs. Like I said, they're like my absolute favorite. They're so perfect. I actually just ordered like two more sheets over Black Friday because I love them so much. Um, but anyways, then I used a glitter header with a three heart checklist to mark some things we did when we got back. And then I placed down this quarter box with a TV sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that we watch TV at the end of the night. Before I started filling out my sidebar, I kind of looked at my entire spread and decided I wanted there to be like more black in the sidebar. I felt like it was a little bit too gray. And so I just switched out the happy moments section for a black checklist instead of the gray one that I had before. And yeah, now I'm just filling in all the things in my sidebar. And then, like I said, before I finished the spread, I had looked everything over again and decided I didn't really like the silver washi at the bottom. Um, now that I'm looking at it, I think it looks totally fine, but for some reason, at the time, I just felt like um, I didn't really pull in that washi any other time in the spread. So I just didn't feel like it matched really well with the rest of the aesthetic, I guess. And so I ended up just using the silver glitter strip from the kit. I really quickly show you guys these stickers that I have left in this kit. And um, for this spread, I decided not to pull in any foils. I kind of realized lately that there are some spreads where I just don't really feel like pulling in any foils. And then there are spreads where I like pull in every single thing that I own and it's like almost blinding to look at. It's just been kind of like all or nothing with foils lately and I don't quite know why. Um, but yeah, for this spread, I just kind of decided not to. I kind of wanted to stick with the monochromatic theme, I guess. Um, so yeah, this is my final spread. Like I said, this 
the spread was really, really hard to put together. But now looking at the final product, I think it came out really nicely. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me know if you have any questions or let me know if I forgot to mention anything. And that's pretty much it. So thank you all so, so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving this past week. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.